Hey everybody, Cole here with Classic Mini DIY and today's episode is about repainting this uh, radiator here and correcting a mistake I made on my brake line system. So, stay tuned. Today's episode is brought to you by you. That's right, every single episode created on Classic Mini DIY is made with the help of our patrons and our long-term part sponsor, 7 Mini Parts. If you want to see more mini stuff and more videos in the future, please consider supporting the channel on patreon.com forward slash classic mini DIY or by checking out some of my awesome merch like t-shirts, stickers, and all sorts of other really cool stuff at merch.classicminidiy.com. All right, let's get back to the episode. So on this episode, I need to mention to you guys that I have made a small mistake on my braking system. Specifically, I used the wrong type of flare on my brake line system. Now there are two types of flares that you can put on a braking system, um, either an ISO bubble flare, which is the correct method of flaring your brake lines for the Classic Mini, or the SAE method of flaring, which is still a double flare, but it goes up like this and then back in, whereas the bubble flare goes up and then back together. So unfortunately, I did not put the right type of flare on my braking system on my subframe before that went back in. And uh, I wanted to make sure that I made another video to tell this to you guys. Um, I made a comment on the original video, but I do want to cover how this is supposed to look and how it is done properly. Um, there are tools to pick up that will do an ISO type flare. However, in this case, what I'm gonna be doing is I partnered with 7 Mini Parts. I told them that I made a bit of a mistake and they make pre-made lengths of brake line. Um, so they sent those out to me and uh, I have three for the front end of the car because those are the only lines that I'm replacing. Um, I have two shorter runs, one from the small T inside the engine bay uh, up to a uh, junction point and then another short one that goes from there up into the master cylinder. Now, I won't install both of those today, only one is gonna go in, um, but then we also have the much longer run that runs from the front left side of your uh, engine compartment over to the right side. Um, so on today's episode, we are gonna take a moment to install these correct brake lines, and then on top of that, we are going to get into painting my radiator. Alex Toon actually just finished painting his radiator black again. Um, mine obviously was black when I bought it um, but it started to chip and kind of rust and, and had some you know issues so I am going to take the opportunity with it out of the car to go ahead and get this tidied up and cleaned up. Um, it is uh, just a little chipped but we do need to degrease this, um, wipe it down really good, get it degreased and then we can paint this black. So I have done a good bit of research on whether or not painting the radiator fins is going to limit its cooling potential at all and from what I can see um, there is no vast negative impact to the cooling potential of these fins um, as long as you aren't blocking any of the channels, any of the ability for the coolant to pass through the radiator, it should not negatively impact it in a uh, you know, a noticeable way. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into getting this cleaned up and getting these brake lines installed.
Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing with the brakes is disconnecting the length that runs from the right side of the engine bay over to the left, as well as the small ringed circular piece here on the left side. Um, that was excess length I left so that I could run that length after um, I got the new brake installed. Um, in this case, we're just going to be removing those and replacing them simply with the brake lines that came from 7 Mini Parts. All right, everybody. So that's gonna wrap up this episode of Classic Mini DIY. Um, we got the radiator painted. That's looking really awesome. We painted up some of the ancillary items and then we also got those brake lines installed. I know this video is not all of the engine and all that crazy stuff, but uh, this is some of the things that you still have to do um, you know, in progress during an engine build. And it's good to see all of the pieces of a build um, because you know, not all of it is the fancy new parts with chrome and, and LSDs and new pistons and things like that. So if you have any questions about the brake lines, about this radiator, anything like that, um, or any other questions about this build in general, feel free to post that in the comment section below. Also, don't forget the supercharger giveaway is going on right now. If that's something that you want to try and win, or you just want $2,000 cold hard cash, head over to my merch store. Any purchase made on the merch store has a corresponding amount of entries associated with it, and it will enter you in to win the supercharger or $2,000. So that's going to wrap up this episode. And until the next time I see you guys, you know the drill. Enjoy those minis and motor on.